Okay, good morning, everyone. <coughs> we are recording. Check my test. That's great. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to study. We ask that you forgive us from our sins. Please give us wisdom and understanding from above. We totally depend on you because we are your creatures. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. Please bless my students also with wisdom and understanding and self-motivation to learn so that they can use their talents for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> I have nice, very nice good news for you. Ha ha! I am so excited. You know what? I'm going to show you something. So we, I'll just play something here, uh, a video I recorded yesterday. Just watch. There is no sound, unfortunately. <clears throat> you watch, my friends. Look at the URL. What was the student location for? Is it Who is the authority for the grade? Can you see the thing? I'm demonstrating how slow the server is. We have our own GPT. You can make your own GPT. Just follow the instructions for private GPT in Google. Uh, after several several months of watching tutorials for how to make your own GPT, how to install your own GPT, I find that I tried it yesterday <coughs> because everybody is using uh, GPT. See, I uh, replied already. The reply came out after one minute. And it is replying very slowly. This is the load of the server. <coughs> if you have no load, it's zero. If it's three point four, that means see see how how see, see this load. This Python three is consuming forty gigabytes of RAM, <coughs> and it's consuming six hundred percent or two hundred percent of CPU, and it's replying word for word. And this is the I can see what's going on, who is what, what he's talking about. This is the server that I started. And I uploaded the book, the book up, the manual of academic policy. We have a document that we try to follow. I uploaded that. So you can chat with your document. <laughs> I want to put the whole Bible in the whole energy and writings and the whole fundamental beliefs here so that uh, you can chat and then it will get answered. It will be nice. So, <coughs> for example, maybe we will make a student GPT where we put all the things that the student should know. And then or I, I, I encourage you, if you need to buy a new, if you have opportunity to buy a new computer, you buy a computer that has a big memory GPU. <clears throat> of course, it's very expensive, <laughs> if not hundreds of thousands of pesos. But this one, it fits in uh, at least 12, it, the, the documentation says it should have 12 gigabytes of free memory. And it runs even without GPU. GPU is expensive, right? The better the GPU, the faster the answer. This one runs without GPU, but my computer is the only server which has 10 cores. You see this one? GPU 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It has 10 cores. This computer has how many cores? I think two. <clears throat> you see, it's, it's answering. <laughs> Imagine. Very easy. I thought it's very hard to install your own GPT. Everybody can do it. Anyone can do it. Just YouTube and follow the instructions in YouTube or go to private GPT. That okay, let's, let's just wait for it to finish. Now it's having a hard time thinking. I don't know why it's having a hard time thinking. 
is having hard time talking. A while ago, it's having hard time. <coughs> so this uh, computer has 80 gig of RAM, 80 gigabytes of RAM, and 10 cores. And that's how slow it answers. If you buy a 4090, the gamer's uh, expensive, expensive GPU, it, it has 16,000 cores, imagine. <coughs> and DDR5, it has 16,000 cores. Wow. That's, that's all our dream. <laughs> diba, diba, class? Do you have any question how this works? It's very, very amazing. I'm so amazed that it, it's working. So the documentation that I read is uh, here. I just type private GPT. So the advantage of this and this I Martinez, this is the author, at least the one who maintains it. And he has instructions here. It says here, interact with your documents using the power of GPT, 100% private, no data leaks. That means your documents will not be sent to ChatGPT because you have your own. Because it's nice to use ChatGPT for things, but when you put your code and your secrets there, ChatGPT remembers everything and it learns from all the things that you type there. So if you have many secrets and you don't want ChatGPT to remember what you are typing, because it helps their GPT also become more intelligent. If you have many trade secrets or processes that have non-disclosure agreement, you have to have your own local GPT that works even offline. And this is the solution. It is open source. I think it's open source, I'm not sure. But, so this is the user interface class. Oh, I finished already. If you see the user interface, <clears throat> you can upload files here. So I tried to upload a PDF, and then I looked at the server monitor. It's just a process called ingesting. And it's ingesting it page by page. It's about 300 pages PDF. So instead of reading the whole thing, you can just ask questions. And if you're fine, it's the answer and compose a very nice sentence. Galing, no? <clears throat> this is the query docs. In search docs, it will just, it's very fast. It's just finding, for example, if you type, if you type CPI, it will just find all of the pages of the CPI. The element that is the normal, uh, like, chat your local chat GPT, you can talk to it. But I found out that the query docs is just an element chat that has a system message. The system message is, if you know, if, if you don't know what system message is, it is the instruction, it's the most recent instruction to the GPT. For example, I have been trained since I was young to listen to words and to understand words and to explain. But when I enter the classroom, my instruction is to teach well. So that is the one reset, yeah? In in GPT word, the system message is the most recent instruction. And I I found out in the in the labs the most recent instruction is you answer only from the from the file. This is called the context. You answer only from the file. That is the message. So this guy, this chat, it understands English, but it only gets ideas from you. It's amazing. I don't, I cannot fully explain how it works, but it's very nice. You can make your own. You can put things here, and then it will chat back to you. <laughs> of course, I turned it off today because. Uh, there is no security. Everybody can upload something. I haven't found out yet how to 
prevent people from uploading. <clears throat> and it's slow. If many people use it at the same time, I always and I study will be slow. I brought I brought another computer there. It has twenty cores, and uh, I think it's forty. I'm not sure if it's forty-eight gigabytes. I will try it also. Maybe it will be faster. So what is the next thing to do? Is to watch videos. There should be examples here. So I'm going, what, what's going, what's I'm thinking doing next is I will watch uh, private GPT videos and I will see what, how, how fast it is. So that we will know what uh, GPU to request. Wow, amazing. So we have our own GPU. In, uh, we have our own private GPT. Service unavailable because I turned it off. So last meeting class, okay, let me check attendance. Web development. <clears throat> so last meeting we studied uh, more about insert. Passwords, I discussed about passwords and encryption. And field names. And troubleshooting and process. What we did we do last time? Systems advanced web development. Okay.
there is nothing inside this. Maybe it's in the other side. You know what CUDA is? CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture. I told you it the GPU has about 1,000 to 16,000 cores. How to program that? In a standard way, it's called, one way to do that is through CUDA. Diba, this class is advanced web. What we are, what I'm showing you is very, very advanced. It's so advanced, I cannot understand it also. CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture. So whether you had an AMD or an NVIDIA a GPU, <coughs> I think CUDA will work. Or different NVIDIA GPU. I'm not sure if it's because it's unified. Okay. It's not very clear how fast it is in different. Nobody tried to compare it. Uh, this one, I'll watch this later. Maybe we should watch this. Okay. Let me try Okay, now I understand what we were doing last time. We are studying a form. We study also how to submit the form. Diba, diba? Is that where we were last time? And I explained to you about security and PG escape stream. Yeah. And then you also have a list. The list, did you, I explained to you already the list? I think I did explain to you the list last time. Do you have any question for the form, the HTML, form submit, and the list? Or you want to do it yourself first? Okay, maybe today we will just, I will let you do it. You do what I did. Yeah, copy, copy, no problem. So I will not teach anything today, but I want to teach something, but I will, I will teach later. So today I will just uh, ask you to do what I did last time and follow. <clears throat> 